This Dynamo Sideline Report is sponsored by Voss Automotive, built on trust, driven by integrity, and by Premier Health. Hi, I'm Mary Worden at Alumni Field on the campus of Wright State University for Dayton Dynamo practice. Dynamo are coming off a win from last week and getting ready for two home games this weekend. Tonight, we'll talk to the new coach and a few players and get you all the information you need on the upcoming week. This is your Dayton Dynamo sideline report. Coach Grace, Coach, how did it feel in your first game as head coach last weekend? You know, obviously it was very exciting, you know, um, first time out, you know, chance for the guys to, to go and sh show what they're about, you know, uh, you know, I was hard on them all week, you know, expecting, trying to, trying to maybe find a little bit more and, uh, you know, it's really exciting to see them go and, and get their first result, you know, and us finally finally get a win at home, you know, after we've been we've been close here over the last three or four games. Uh, so, so it was nice for them to find a little extra and, and go take care of business. And you mentioned getting your first league win, so obviously very exciting. It was a great atmosphere that night. So what would you say your strategy is as a coach, and how does that differ from what the guys have seen previous to you taking over the head coaching position? Well, you know, it's, it's, it's really just about accountability, you know, and, and guys pushing one another day in and day out. You know, I think it, it was nice for them to see what it, you know, the effort and intensity that it's going to take for us to get results, you know, and hopefully we can find a way to maintain that and grow upon it, you know, and, and maybe find a little momentum here, rattle off a few, few wins. Absolutely, and you've got two home matches this weekend. Sunday you get to face Ann Arbor again. After you've seen them once prior this previously this season, um, lost in the second half. What are you going to change up to go into this game to get a victory? Yeah, I mean, our first three or four games, you know, I mean, we we found ourselves, you know, winning at halftime and and maybe falling off a little bit later in the second half. Um, you know, so we've, we've really been concentrating on our fitness out here. You know, hopefully, you know, the guys have seen, you know, with this last win, you know, how to close out games finally. And, uh, you know, that's the biggest thing is finding the composure and, and you know, the mental attitude to be able to, to see out matches and, and understand what it takes to, to win and, and keep a lead, particularly at home this weekend. All right. Thank you, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. We're here with Mike Schoonerward. Mike, you come to Dayton Dynamo from University of Dayton, and you've had a really successful start in the games that you've played in so far. So what does it mean to you to stay and play another year in the city of Dayton? I mean, it's a lot of fun. Um, four years ago, I came here to the Day city of Dayton. Uh, I, do, I didn't know where I would end up. I ended up in Dayton, Ohio. So first off, it's, like, it's a lot of fun to stay here in the city. I mean, uh, the community has done a lot for us while I was at the University of Dayton, and now to keep playing for the Dynamo and keep giving back to the community is just a great thing. So we've got two home games this weekend, and Sunday you'll face Ann Arbor again. You weren't playing in that game, but what will you bring to the table that is going to change up the outcome of that game? Well, hopefully I just... Uh, Bring a lot of heart to the team. This uh, these two games. Um, I mean, I'm a physical guy, so hopefully I can get us to win. I mean, last time we lost, and uh, they are top of the table right now, and we want to get there. So we need to get a win against them this Sunday. Absolutely. Uh, last question: Is there anyone you've you've scored two goals in the last game? Mm -hmm. You've you've done pretty well on offense. Is there anyone that you think has helped you in creating to get those goals and have those opportunities to score? I mean, for sure. I mean, I can't single out one single person that just has put me in that position. I mean, it's the whole team. Um, like Michael Dottie gave me the throw in uh, on my first goal this Sunday and. Oh, this Friday, and uh, Christian Johnson gave me the, the the second assist and the goal. I mean, it's all over. Overall, it's just like a team effort. I mean, they put me in the in the position where I can score, and and it, I mean, it's a good feeling to score for the team. But it's just not that's just my name there on the score sheet. I mean, the, the only thing that matters is the win for the team. Very good. Thank you, Mike. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. We're here with Corey Weisenhunt. Corey had a shutout for the Dynamo last week. What came into place that made that? A possibility in the last game. Um, it was definitely needed. We had to win one, especially after losing four in a row. Uh, new coach coming in, so we had a 
we were all pretty fired up for this home game and that had to do a whole lot with the shutout and you know, we all played a little lot of heart. So speaking, you mentioned having a new coach coming in. How has it been playing for a new coach in the middle of the season like that and what do you take away from different coaching styles? You can't really replace Dave Wall. Dave Wall's been around forever. When I was at Wright State, he was there. And then Dan Grice has been in the Wright State community as well. And I know there's probably four or five of us that have been you know, Wright State alumni and players now. So it's all kinds of works into the community soccer, which is Dayton Dynamo. So it's all a lot of us close-knit players. Absolutely. Now we have two home matches this weekend, but on Sunday you'll face Ann Arbor again. So you shut them out in the first half the last time you played them. They kind of came back in the second half. What do you plan on doing if you're in the goal? What are your keys to success to, to keep them from scoring? So at Ann Arbor especially, but every game we've been in each game and it's just been two or three small mistakes and I think if we sure those up I think you know we'll be doing very well these next what I think we have five games in the next nine days so it's going to be a lot of fitness how fit we are and along us you know how much heart we can provide because everyone's going to play, everyone back here, because a lot of us old guys aren't going to make it five games in a row. <laughs> and speaking of playing five games in nine days, so what's your week like? You mentioned fitness, but what about the recovery time? What do you do on the off days? Off days, still doing a lot of coaching. You know, I think each and every one of us, most of us are still coaches, so we're on the field coaching every day, you know, getting touches in. Because right now, if you stop playing, that's when you get sore. So it's nice to just keep going. Now, Corey, this is a little off topic from gameplay, but you seem to be the fan favorite. Kids absolutely love you. So what does it mean to you to be somewhat of an idol and someone that they look up to? It's really funny. Um, so I get a lot of emails and whatnot. A lot of the kids that come out are kids that I train because I coach, you know, goalkeeping wise. So it's very fun. You know, Wins tough, Kettering Fairmont, played at Wright State. So it's like I said, it's a lot of the soccer community and a lot of them are coming and supporting us because they want to see all of us get better. Very cool. Thank you, Corey. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you.